In this short video, I'm going to show you how to get a, a code, a simple area chart using ReCharts, a React uh, chart library. Okay, if you go to uh, recharts.org and click on the examples page and you get a whole list of charts that you can uh, use out of the box. So uh, I'm looking at the simple area chart. So if I go down and under area chart, I'm going to select the simple area chart. Okay, and it displays what the chart looks like, and it's got some code here. And basically, the code will uh, involve some data and uh, some rendering part there. Now, I'm going to quickly uh, show you how to get up and running uh, uh, with React. On. So I'm just going to copy this code, and I'm going to go to so I'm going to go to uh, React and um, Visual Code. Uh, I've already set up a, a basic a React uh, application. Uh, using uh, npm uh, react uh, create react app okay as you can see uh, it's the standard uh, boilerplate um, files that you get uh, when you run uh, uh, create react app okay so i'm just going to paste the whole demo code into my app.js okay and i'm going to save it okay now i've already now uh, to get this running you need to go to terminal and run npm install recharts okay so i've already run this so uh so you need to do this uh, step and then you can continue okay so i'm going to continue anyway uh so now in the demo code if i go down and uh, it uses export class uh extend pure component so we're not going to use uh class components we're going to use um uh, functions so we're just going to delete that section and just put function app and then I'm going to delete this uh, this link here and I'm going to delete the render part okay because you don't have render in function components and I'm just going to delete one of this curly brackets okay and that was associated with the uh, uh, render okay so now uh, if, if I go to the browser now Okay, and get it. If we do a refresh, okay, so uh, it's blank. So I was uh, I was predicting this because uh, it's to do with the responsive rechart attributes. Okay, so it's it's saying width and height 100%, but uh, it's going on the root, and the root hasn't got any dimensions, so it's not really showing anything. So uh, to get this working, uh, you need to change that, delete that height part. And just put aspect equals curly brackets and plus three. We, what this means is uh, what, uh, I'm going to have the height as one third of the width. So the width is 100%. So if I, if I go back now, so I get a beautiful um, area chart. Okay, so out the box, you know, it's got the tooltip and uh, it's got the X and Y axis and it's got a grid. Now, uh, if I go back and you want to customize all these things, uh, say if you want to uh, uh, have a different color uh, uh, text for your x-axis, so you say uh, you target the tick and and it equals and it's a double curly brackets and it's, you're gonna uh, give a style com uh, a styling um, uh, a stroke stroke colon. Um, And I'm going to say inverted commas red. Okay, so if I save that, okay, okay, so I've got red text there. So if I go back, so I can do that for the same uh, for the y axis. So if I go copy and tab, and I say white, and I save. Oh, I don't want white. I say gray. gray. Save that. So I've got a gray color there. Okay, so if I wanted to uh, not have the, the tooltip, I can just delete the tooltip. And I don't have any tooltip. Okay, so. Now, if I wanted to. Uh, have just a horizontal uh, 
uh, grid line, then I would say so then say horizontal equals true, and I say vertical equals. I just give it a blank. Um, in very common, say just leave it blank. Save. So it just got vertical. So that's how you. Uh, customize the colors for, for your text and the grid lines. So I hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe to my channel if you like more videos like this.